So if you really want to, you know, activate your knowledge of astrology, it is, I can't even tell you how important it is to do the planetary mantras, you know, before you get started in your journey of astrology. And now, yes, this is something I did quite late in my life. But you have to do the mantras of the all the nine grahas, meaning the planets, and you do it in the amount of their dasha. So, for example, sun is a six-year-long dasha. That means you have to do 6,000 mantras in 40 days of sun. You'll have to do 10,000 in 40 days of moon, right? 16,000 of Jupiter, 17,000 of Mercury, 20,000 of Venus and Saturn and Mars and Rahu and Ketu. But always you want to start with the illuminaries, sun and moon, most important, and then Jupiter. At least get them out of the way. And you will see, you will see while you are doing these mantras, suddenly additional knowledge is given to you. Additional knowledge is shown to you. Knowledge that you didn't even heard of before. And I'm giving you this from my own experience. So you must, you know, do these mantras. If you re and, and this is only for people who really want to kind of understand the subject of astrology, Vedic astrology. You got to do those mantras. And yes, the preferred mantras are the Vedic mantras. But then there are these beach mantras of, you know, planets. You know, like the Om Srang Sring Srong Saha Om Prang Pring Prong or dhram dhim dhram you know these beach mantras you can do those are the easiest thing you know so start but then you will see the progress you make an understanding of the grahas the planets and what angle they make from each other profound profound change you will see when it comes to the, uh you know your understanding of astrology and how easy it becomes all right thank you